do you remember how we would have to initialize the variables of an object after instantiating it in the main method? Here is what that looked like. So let's create an instance of this omega object. Once again, omega a equals a new omega. And we'd have to access each and every variable using the dot operator, accessing that specific variable and then assigning it a value. So let's just make x1 a dot y, let's make that two and a dot z, let's make that three. And it was really annoying having to explicitly type the access of the variables followed by the initialization. With parameterized constructors, we can initialize the values of variables as soon as a class is instantiated. And here's how you do it. First, we need a constructor, which we have right here. Remember, it's public, followed by the name of the class, followed by parentheses, followed by braces. Next, inside of the parameters, we need to add some variables this constructor will be using. So for this case, let's have three int variables called a, b, and c int a, int b, and int c. Next, we have to ask ourselves, what is it that we want to do with these three values that are being passed on initialization of this class? Well, we want to assign them to the variables present inside of the class, which are x, y, and z. And we're familiar with passing arguments and assigning them to variables. So let's do just that inside of this constructor. We want x to be assigned the value of a. We want y to be assigned the value of b, and we want z to be assigned the value of c. So here we have a constructor that will take in some values, a, b, and c, and then pass them to the variables inside of the class instance. So let's use it. Let's create an instance of this class, a new instance, and instead of directly accessing the variables using the dot operator, let's pass them into the constructor. So let's delete these and notice we're getting a red line right under the omega. That's because it requires three variables or three values of type int because the constructor is asking for it. So let's give it some values since it's asking for some. Let's give it one, two, and three right here. Now, to go over everything from the start, when this instance is created, these values will be passed on into the object and assigned to the variables. And this will all happen on instantiation because remember, the constructor is invoked when a class is instanced. And this is a really good way to pass variables to an object when it is instantiated.